All right, today's is uh, very easy as long as you knew what to do yesterday. It's the converse of the Pythagorean theorem. Oh, everyone put the iPads away. Remember, converse just means you switch the order. Um, the stuff you did yesterday, you had a right triangle and you knew two sides. So you could use a squared plus b squared equals c squared to find the missing side. Yeah. The converse is backwards. Now we're going to have three sides. Careful. And you're going to use the Pythagorean theorem to figure out if it's a right triangle or not. So if it's a right triangle, then a squared plus b squared should equal c squared. So you got to check, does 3 squared plus 4 squared, does it equal 5 squared? Okay. And in this case it does, so it's just yes. Yes. Yes or no, yep. So in this one, obviously this would have to be the hypotenuse. Yeah. So you got to check, does 24 squared plus 8 squared to 6 squared, does it equal 8 squared to 15 squared? Now, when you have those, <coughs> when you do this, 8 times the square root of 6 squared, um, what, what's happening here is you square the 8 and you square the square root of 6. What happens when you square the square root? They cancel because they're opposites. So that just turns to a 6. So this one would be 64 times 15. Now you can just punch this in the calculator like that, but you gotta use the parentheses. Um, and on these calculators, it's tricky because if you put in 24 squared plus eight, and then you hit the times, and then you put the square root sign, and then you put a six, remember it starts with a parenthesis, You've got to put a parenthesis there to show that it's the end. And this is what's tricky, is you would have had to put a parenthesis here, and then at the end, and then hit the x squared button. Because this whole thing has to be. So if you're using those, you're going to want to put parenthesis around there, and you've got to remember to put that parenthesis to show that it's the end of the square root. Um, on this one, these are a little easier. You can just go 8 times the square root of 6, press equals, you need to press equals to multiply them and then square it, and you get 3 and 4, and then plus 24 squared, and we get, oops, So this is 960 on this side. So when we do that one, you also get 960. So this is yes. That does make a right triangle. So when they're regular numbers, they're easy. 33 squared plus 56 squared, does that equal 65 squared? So this is 42.25. Now the quick way, instead of just figuring that out, just square root this and it should end up at 65. It does. So that's yes. You guys understand what I just did there? Because you can just use the Pythagorean theorem and then square root it and see if you get that. So you can do the same thing here. Um, 2 squared to 38 squared plus 10 squared and then, really, all you got to do is hit the square root button to see if you end up at 16. Because a squared plus b squared square rooted should equal the hypotenuse squared. So 2 times the square root of 38, and then make sure you press equals, and then you got to square it, plus 10 squared, press equals, and then we square root the whole thing, I get 15.87. 
it didn't equal 16, so that's no. No. Then. Your minus sign must look the same as if we did this. Yep. It's yes if a squared plus b squared equals c squared. It's no if it doesn't equal. Now, for these, you can tell if a triangle is a right triangle by doing a squared plus b squared equals c squared. So, if a squared plus b squared equals c squared, it's a right triangle. We can also check to see if it's a obtuse triangle or an acute triangle. If it's not equal, it's one or the other. So if a squared plus b squared, sometimes it'll be greater than c squared. Sometimes it'll be less than c squared. Right, it's kind of the exact opposite of what you would think. Obtuse is greater than 90. Oh. But if a squared plus b squared is greater than c squared, it's actually acute. If a squared plus b squared is less than c squared, it's obtuse. Oh. This is something you are going to have to memorize for the test. Because you'll have a set of uh, problems where they give you the three sides and you got to just say whether it's right, acute, or obtuse. Now in the book, they, they write this backwards. They have these formulas in there, but they put the C first. So they'll say C squared is less than A squared plus B squared. Then it's acute, which maybe that would be easier to remember because a less than in acute, acute angles are less than 90. So, and then they'll say C squared is greater than A squared plus B squared, that's obtuse. So you may be able to remember it easier this way because of the less than greater than. It's just Pythagorean theorem usually has the A, B first. So whichever way works best for you to memorize it. So the other part of our problems is doing that. You got to say whether the triangle is right, acute, or obtuse. So they're just going to give you three lengths. Now, they're not always going to be in order, though. These happen to be. Here's the longest side, so that's the hypotenuse. Here's the longest side, so that's the hypotenuse. But sometimes they put the longest side in the middle or the first one. So what you got to do is take 28 squared plus 40 squared and figure out how does it compare to 48 squared. So this is 2384. This is 2,304. So this is greater than. So if a squared plus b squared is greater than c squared, it's acute. So this makes an acute triangle. So this one, 5.7 squared plus 12.2 squared, how does it compare to 13.9 squared? Yeah. So this turns out to be 181.33. This is 193.21. So that's less than, if a squared plus b squared is less than c squared, it is obtuse. So again, all of these, they did put them in order. Just remember an assignment. They, they're not always going to be in order. So 16 squared plus 30 squared is 1156. 34 squared is also 1156. So what kind of a triangle is that? Remember, if a squared plus b squared equals c squared, it's a right triangle. 8 squared plus 13 squared is 233. 22 squared is way more than that, 484. So it's less than, which is obtuse. 
6 squared plus 9 squared is 117. 12 squared is 144. That's less, so that is obtuse. So. Wait, when it says Oh, yes, I forgot to go through that. Um, one of these we can't figure out. Sometimes these, we, we already did problems like this, if you remember. Sometimes these won't form a triangle. This is the one right here. Anyone know why this one won't form? Because they don't add up to more than the... These two sides only add up to 21, and the third side's 22. So if you had a 22-foot board and you put on an 8-foot and a 13-foot, it wouldn't reach because they got to get a little over 22. So, um, yeah, if it doesn't form a triangle, you just say no. So, um, the two sides, any two sides got to add up to more than the third. These two add up to more than that, these two add up to more than that, and... So here, 6 and 9 is more than 12, 9 and 12 is more than 6, 6 and 12 is more than 9. An example of one, if you got 2, 2, and 4... That wouldn't work because two and two are exactly four. It has to be they got to add up to more than the third side. So that'd be a no. If you had a four, four, and a seven, yes. Some of our problems uh, they give you like this: four, seven, and seven. So that's yes. Um, it doesn't matter which one of you, these you choose as the hypotenuse. Obviously, 4 squared plus 7 squared is going to be greater than 7 squared, right? Right. Without using a calculator? Right. So since this is greater, this would make it acute. So, yeah, remember, sometimes the triangles won't make it. You just got to spot that right away. <laughs>